at the end of the day, you want to finish your last tasks and go home. And of course, you shouldn't have to wait for next cloud. So we always put in a lot of effort to speed things up. Now, performance and scalability not only help lower the cost of running a Nexout instance, but more efficient software also is better for the environment by reducing energy use. So Nexout already scales really well. It scales for very small devices like a Raspberry Pi all the way up to a big Kubernetes setup where you can have millions of users on a single cluster. For example, such a large setup is running for Magenta Cloud at Deutsche Telekom. Now, sometimes you want an even bigger setup. You want to be able to handle even more users. And for that, we have our unique global scale architecture. Now, with global scale, you can have tens of millions of users, even hundreds of millions, on an Excel service, running distributed over multiple data centers, even on different continents. One example of this is the Claro Drive service of America Mobile. This service has over 20 million users and is distributed over four different hosting centers in Central and South America using Nexat Global Scale. However, we're always working to improve scalability even further. With this and future releases, we are working on database sharding. This means that the Nexat database can be split up into several smaller databases, which can then be run, distributed over multiple servers. The base work for this change is already available in Hub8 we will continue to implement these features over the next few months. So that's one improvement, but we are doing a second improvement to the database. And this is improving the read after write behavior of the database. Now with the current architecture, Nexart requires synchronous replication, which means if you're trying to run a clustered database, you are limited to about four nodes. Now in the future, we want to support unlimited read nodes that are using asynchronous replication. This improvement, which is already part of Hub8, together with the database sharding, will really level up the scalability of Nextcloud. And we expect that you will be able to run up to 10 times more users on a single Nextcloud cluster, which means lower costs, higher efficiency, and of course, better energy use. Now, in addition to improving the scalability of very big instances, we also wanted to improve the performance of the day-to-day -day use of Nextcloud. So we made a ton of improvements that will make use of Nextcloud snappier overall in the front end. A few examples of these changes are on the left and you can see some examples of the results on the right. So we've really been working on reducing the amount of data that is sent to the browser when you log in and when you load pages. In the end, over 100 megabyte of JavaScript no longer has to be sent to the browser and this will really help give a lighter, faster feel to Nextcloud. So summarizing, between the database work and the front-end improvement, Nextcloud won't keep you waiting anymore.